Hey there, home lovers and engineers. FE Engineer here. So today we're gonna to get Rock'em running on Windows Subsystem for Linux. Uh, I have a previous video showing you how to get Windows Subsystem for Linux set up on your computer. And I've sort of broken these apart. Rather than make one long video, I would rather have very short targeted videos. That way folks can go ahead and if they only need one part, they can install and get the thing running that they're trying to get running without having to worry too much about whether or not they need the entire video. So with that, let's take a look at how to get Rock'em running on Windows Subsystem for Linux. It is worth noting that setting up Rock'em under Windows Subsystem for Linux is currently pretty much the best way to do things unless you are going to go Linux only. Um, Rock'em on Windows right now really doesn't work quite yet and it will a little bit sometimes on certain graphics cards. But the Rock'em under Windows Subsystem for Linux has reasonably good support for Rock'em right now. Um, RDNA 3, RDNA 4, um, the, the GFX architectures is going to be 1100 and then up. But you can see on the AMD page, they specifically say that, you know, the 9000 series and some of the higher end 7000 series cards should work with Rock'em on Windows Subsystem for Linux. If you are not running one of these cards, it might still work, but you know, just like everything, your, your mileage may vary. In order to set this up, we are going to follow some of the directions that are specifically outlined by AMD in order to do this. And so the things that we're going to need is AMD's website up, which if you end up running into any issues or having troubles, this website may very well help to answer some of those questions. And then of course, since we installed Windows Subsystem for Linux the other day, we're going to need to open up Ubuntu and run that. We're going to follow the directions. I'm using Ubuntu 2404, so I'm going to simply copy down everything that's on there and paste it into Ubuntu. Go ahead and do that. It's going to ask for your password for using sudo, so put in the password you created. And it is going to go ahead and both update and then download the AMD GPU install. That will not take very long. And so after that, you can then simply use this Windows subsystem for Linux use case. And it's going to install the Windows subsystem for Linux and Rock'em, and it is not going to install DKMS. Go ahead and run that. This is very likely going to be several gigabytes so this is something that's going to take you a while. So you'll probably want to just go ahead and run this and then walk away and let it go for a little while. So all right, now that Rock'em has officially installed, it is worth noting that there is no really good way to upgrade. And so if you ever want to change versions of Rock'em, you are going to need to 100% uninstall entirely. And to do that, there's the sudo AMD GPU dash uninstall that will uninstall it, and then you can install the new version. So now that Rock'em is installed, we can run Rock'em Info. And Rock'em Info will come up here and will tell us, here's all the things that I see, including the, this 9900X, you know, 12 core CPU. And it says, you know, Windows subsystem for Linux environment detected. 
and then it sees a GFX 1100, which is the 7900 XT graphics card. Great. And then it likely also sees, um, oh, it does not, it isn't seeing my internal GPU currently, it looks like. So you should, if you run Rockham Info, be able to find your graphics card that and as long as it's in there, then Rockham sees it and Rockham will work. Congratulations, folks. You now have Rockham running in Windows Subsystem for Linux. This now allows for and enables AI and machine learning workflows to be done, as well as a lot of other things. With that, I'm gonna have some future videos showing setting up things like Comfy UI and utilizing Rockham, which will give a big speed uh, improvement compared to running things like DirectML. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Like all YouTube channels here, you know, if you like and subscribe, it is greatly appreciated and helps the channel out. It will also help to let you know when there's new content on my channel, you know, that you might be interested in. So with that, Thank you guys so much for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye.